Hi everybody, this is Shai Halud, author of Badass Repair Mod. This instructional video is going to show you how to use FO3 Edit alongside of my Badass Repair Mod and other mods like Ashara's Batman Items and Weapons Mods Kit uh, to add to their form lists, their form ID lists, uh, for their custom weapons and armor uh, to add the items that I have in my mod to theirs. Uh, first thing you want to do is grab FO3 Edit and the training manual for FO3 Edit, which I suggest to use the HTML version that has hyperlinks to help navigate through the manual that's several, several hundred pages uh, in length with more ease. As I mentioned in my other video, I'm going to move through this pretty quick. That's the beauty of video, though you can always go back and review if I go too quick for you. But you want to select the mods that you want to modify including whatever expansion or the game of the year version of my repair mod that you have. Go ahead and load this up. And you're going to notice that when you open up my repair mod, whichever one you do loaded, that the only submenu that's involved with that mod is the form ID list. Opening up the form ID list, what this is is it handle several different functions, one of which is repair. So if you look at the first item here, it's Chinese assault rifle. What this does is it says when I go to repair my Chinese assault rifle, what can I repair it with? Well, by default they give you your Chinese assault rifle to repair another Chinese assault rifle with. That makes sense. I added the regular assault rifle because it has a lot of the same components. Logically that would make sense as something to repair it with. Here's my tin can. Wonder glue, scrap metal, and bent tin cans. And part of the process of me creating this, I eliminated the unique items like Jericho's Chinese assault rifle that you pretty much can't get your hands on anyway. But even if you did, it's a little bit weaker item. Yeah, I guess you could repair it with it, but no big deal. And then, of course, the unique assault rifle that you probably don't want to repair a regular assault rifle with the unique item. So I removed that from the lists. If you go under something like Weapons Mod Kit, let's start with that one. And knowing that the Form ID list is the only thing that's going to be modified, open up their Form ID list. And you do see some stuff here in yellow, but that's not dealing with us. That's just dealing with overrides that they've done from the base game. What we're looking for is we're looking for their unique. And all their unique stuff that's not an override is going to be in white. And if you look down through here, ah, here's a... WMK Repair Lever Rifle. What this is, is the Lever Rifle is a unique item that Weapon Mod Kit adds to the game that is a base version of Lincoln's Repeater. Lincoln's Repeater would be the unique of Lever Rifle. Now in the expansion there is some Lever Action Rifles, but that's different from this, so you could have all three. If you look at their repair list here, they repair it with Lincoln's Repeater, they repair it with other Lever Rifles, and they repair it with Scrap Metal clever. That's partially the methodology I'm going with. But how do we get our other three items in here? We don't want to add it to their mod because if they get issue an update down the road, which inevitably all authors will, uh, it's going to get overwritten. The changes of whatever you make today will get overwritten by the new mod. So what we want to do is we want to create an override into either a brand new file or a file that you already have going uh, that you're putting these other overrides into. Uh, so what you do is you just right click on the lever rifle title, come up and select copy as override into, you're going to get a warning window making sure that you want to proceed, say yes. And I don't have it right now, but I would normally have a file that I put all these overrides that I load very last on my list to make sure that everything gets loaded as I specified it. But we're going to create a new file, we can just name it anything, I'm going to name it BA3. Hit OK, and it's going to ask you if you want to add Fallout and Weapon Mod Kit as masters. Go ahead and hit Yes. And all it's going to do right now is create a duplicate. Copied everything over. There's no conflicts. There's no overrides. It's just a duplication. But we have the spare parts, but we want to add the other three items. So the easiest way to do that is to right-click on the header title. Make sure it's up here with the form IDs. If you try clicking down here, it's not going to give you an add option. So you want to make sure you click on the title. So click on the title, hit add. It's going to add a null reference. Well, that's one of them, but we need two more. So let's add two more. Now we have three null references plus our spare parts for a total of our four items that we want to seek out. If you actually left-click on this cell, wait a second, and then left-click again, 
what it's going to do is it's going to try and load every single possible item that can be utilized for repair. That's every piece of armor, every weapon, every miscellaneous item. And even on my quad-core processor, this bogs the system down and freezes you up for about a minute. Well, I've already gone through this process painstakingly with my list. So if you go down and actually click on my Chinese assault rifle that I was using as an example earlier, and you actually look, well, I have all four items here. Easiest way to do this, just go over to like the bent tin can, right click, hit edit, and here it's all highlighted. If you just use your control C quick uh, keyboard shortcut, cancel that window, go back to the lever rifle window, right click on one of the null titles, edit, and paste it on in there with your control V, hit OK, and boom, there it's transferred, didn't have to wait for anything. Well, let's do that for the other ones too. Well, we don't need spare parts, let's go to Wonder Glue, cancel. Go up to the lever rifle, edit, paste it in. And the last one we need is the tin can here. Grab that one, copying and pasting. And boom. Just like that, when you want to repair your lever rifle, you can use a tin can, wonder glue, scrap metal, bent tin can, or all the other items. Well, we did that one, so let's go up and look at Ashara's Batman items. Look at her form list. Well, she has a couple suit lists here, but here's some repair mods too. She does the same thing. Well, we want to issue an override for those two, so we're going to move a little quick. We can add that to the same BA3 folder. Yes, we want to add it as a master. Same thing as before, we have just copies of both files here. Well, we want to add those, so let's add four, because she doesn't actually include scrap metal in hers, or his, I'm sorry. Edit the first one, we already had the uh, last tin can copied, so we can just go ahead and paste it right in there, it's still on our clipboard. And then go to the other mod. We don't want to have to do this eight times, so let's just do it four times. So you go back over here. Let's grab the Wonder Glue. Copy. I think you guys get the point of what we're doing here, but uh, we'll go through the whole process real quick. i got a couple minutes. And then we want to grab Scrap Metal. Copy. Paste. And paste. And lastly, we want to grab the bent tin can. Now you could use the GEC to do the same kind of process, but the advantage of doing it in FO3 Edit is that you can see side by side what you're changing and exactly what's being carried over, what has conflicts, what has overrides, all this kind of stuff. If you're looking for information on conflicts and overrides and you're forgetting about it besides your manual, right down here on the bottom are these different tabs. The view tab is what you use when you're editing stuff. This gives reference information of how it's linked to other things, current messages of the latest actions that you've taken, and then the information tab. And right here it lists your text color and background colors and what they mean. Okay, in our situation, we have a yellow background, which means that there is an override without a conflict. But then the text color also matters. So looking at this, text color is green. So basically that means override without conflict. Well, that's great. If, it, if text color was red, that means that it would be lost on the entire process. You really need three mods or so to, to lose on a conflict loser, or to have a conflict loser. Anyway... Now we have both our Batman items, our bat suit and our batarangs, that we can repair with our junk. I guess Batman could use tin cans to repair stuff, but, you know, I mean, the whole concept is there. But anyway, you could do that with any other mods. Uh, if people are doing custom, uh, custom additions to their add-on, uh, it's a way to tie everything in. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, of course, please contact me on the website or forums or my send me a private message. Thanks.